brush from our chest when I tell her to. Keep going on that knee to chest. And switch into Russian Mars. You can see she's touching her opposite arm to her opposite foot. Nice and straight legs, that's the goal. Make sure you're getting that hamstring warmed up. Right after this one, we're gonna go into our jump ball workout. Feel free to have a longer warm up if you see, if you see it necessary. Alright, so the first exercise we have Nikki doing is squat to front. She's going to go ahead and grab her dumbbells. Ready and begin. As you can see, she's going down into a nice deep squat. As you can see, her elbows aren't going to sag down. She wants to keep her elbows up here. It's a nice smooth motion. We're going to be doing all these exercises for 45 seconds. On the squat, really make sure that your knee isn't going over your ankle. We want to stack our ankle and our knee. That means that you need to bring your butt back, back and down to have proper form. She wants her chest open and out. She's doing a nice job here. And switch. She's going to go into a bicep curl with a lunge. And begin. Same rule applies, she wants to stack her knee to her ankle, she doesn't want to go too far in front of it. Nice smooth motion with the bicep curl. On this one we're going all the way up on the bicep curl, three-fourths of the way down. You want to keep that muscle engaged the entire time. Okay, you've got 15 more seconds on this one. And switch, she's going into a wide squat with an upright row. Ready, and begin. So on this one, as you can see, she really opened her stance up for the squat, for into a wide squat. Growing up, trying to get her elbows higher than her shoulders for a proper grow. There's a couple of variations on this wide squat. Maybe it's actually kind of in a wide plie squat. You can also rotate your feet forward and do it like that too. Five more seconds on this one. And switch, maybe you're gonna go into a squat pulse. Ready, and begin. So as you can see, she's in a nice, deep squat. Same rules apply, we're always concerned about our core. You can see that her elbows are up, and she's just gonna be doing a nice, about one inch pulse. Staying down in a squat position the entire time. Same rules apply with your chest. It's open and it's out. Head is forward. This exercise is about concentration, really staying low in the squat. That's what we want. All right, and switch. Maybe you're gonna go into a core hold. You don't need your dumbbells for this one. Ready, and begin. So on this one, we wanna make sure that we have our flat back. We don't want our butt to come up or stay down. We want to have our body in a nice plank. She's on her forearms, as you can see. This one, make sure you're breathing in and out the whole time, engaging your core. We're not letting our belly hang. We're engaging them the entire length of the exercise. So maybe you've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Rotate your 
really holding that nice position the entire time. Now she's going to switch into a push-up. So you can go ahead and stay down there and begin. So as you can see, similar to the plank, we want our body in that nice, straight position. We don't want our butt to come up or sag down. We want our hands to be under our shoulders. Just a nice, regular push-up. We want to make sure that we're getting down low enough. If the push-up is, is getting too hard for you and you want to hold yourself up in this position, you never want to go drop down on your knees. So maybe only got about five more seconds on her push-up. And she's going to make, and go into a nice transition of the Superman. So she's just going to keep staying the same way. And begin. So on this one, it's really just like you're flying, you want your legs up. Even you can see Maggie has her thighs off the ground, which is ideal. Also, you want to lift your front half up too. So she's got good form on this one. This is just a hold. Make sure that your stomach is engaged even though it's on the ground. Always focusing on our breathing, especially on these ones that we're holding. important to also squeeze your glutes, that's how your legs come up and off. Alright, and she's done with that. Now we're going to go into an atomic sit-up. So she's going to go ahead and flip over. Ready, and begin. On this atomic sit-up, as you can see, she's going to keep her legs off the ground the entire time. That is very important. The further she goes back, the more challenging it is. So you want to get down nice and deep on that. She's got about 15 more seconds left on this exercise, keeping your form the entire time, also keeping your breathing. Five more seconds. And switch, she's going into a leg raise. And begin. As you can see on these exercises, we have nice quick transitions. Maybe just going right into the next exercise. On this particular one, we want straight legs and we want our heels at the ceiling. As you can see right here, when she's at the top, heels at the ceiling, very important. As you can see, her legs are coming down, but never touching the ground. And then also, her hands are under her butt. That's just going to give your lower back some support. So don't, feel free to go ahead and do that. Ten more seconds on this one. This is our second last exercise we have for you. And switch. Maybe going to go into penguin. Ready, and begin. As you can see, she's going side to side. We're working on your oblique. She's going and touching her heels, which is ideal if you can get that far. But remember, we're keeping our shoulders off the ground the whole time. That's the key to this exercise. It's a nice, smooth, smooth motion. It's not jerky to get those heels. So maybe she's got about 15 seconds left on her exercise for the day. Keeping it nice and smooth and the shoulders off the ground. And done.